chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again two sides of a plot measuring 32 meter and 24 meter are perpendicular to each other the other two sides have a measure of 25 meter each and the other three angles are not right angles the area of the plot has to be found out the plot is obviously a quadrilateral let us draw a schematic for the plot we can take the plot to be like this the two sides we can take this is 32 this is 24 and they are perpendicular so this angle is 90 degrees and we can take this as the diagonal the other two sides have a measure of 25 so this is 25 and this is also 25 and the other three angles are not right angles this means this could be any angle any angle and any angle we have to find out the area of the plot we have drawn this diagonal also because a quadrilateral can often be seen as a combination of two triangles and if we are able to find out the areas of the two triangles then the area of the entire quadrilateral is easy to find out let me label this quadrilateral for you as a b c d this is usually not required in an exam but for your understanding now my game plan is to find out the area of this right angle triangle which is very easily available because i have the base also and height also the second thing is that i will have to attend to this upper triangle also and the good hint with me is that i have it as an isosceles triangle with two equal sides and i also know the formula for the isosceles triangle in terms of its base and the equal sides this means my upper triangle adc will be solved if i am able to determine this diagonal so first of all i will note down what area i have with me we can say that area of triangle abc is equal to half of base into height which is equal to half of 32 multiplied by 24 which is equal to we can do some cancellation this will go on 12 and 12 into 32 is 384 this is one thing that is available with me next i have to turn my attention to this diagonal ac for this i know that it is the hypotenuse of this triangle abc and i will have to simply apply the pythagoras theorem now instead of applying the pythagoras theorem blindly there is a small shortcut that is available i know the height of this is 32 i'll write this 32 aside and what is this base the base is 24 i should find out this ratio if i can then i'll tell you how it helps me this ratio is we can cancel it on the table of 8 we can say it is 4 is 2 3 this ratio is 4 is to 3 now 3 4 and 5 they make 
they make Pythagorean triplets. So I will write here 5 and then obviously this question mark will be 5 multiplied by 8 equal to 40. See 32 is to 24 I wrote. Below them I cut them onto the ratio 4 is to 3 and immediately I recognized that 3, 4 and 5 are Pythagorean. So I completed the third one as 5. Then I went up. I saw that this was cancelled on 8. This was cancelled on 8. And therefore this question mark should be filled by 40. So what I now deduce is that this third side has a measure of 40. And now I am in a position to find out the area of the isosceles triangle. I will write area of isosceles triangle that is triangle ADC is equal to, I will write the formula here, B by 4 square root of 4A square minus B square where A is the equal side and B is the unequal side. Now we can substitute the value of B as 40. It becomes 40 by 4 square root of 4 into 25 square minus 40 square which is equal to this cancels on table of 4 10 square root of this is 625 and 625 into 4 is 2500 minus 1600 which is equal to 10 square root of 900 which is equal to 10 into 30 is equal to 300 and total area therefore total area or the required area is equal to this 300 plus 384 which is equal to 684 square meter. Let us move to our next question now. Two adjacent sides of a parallelogram are 36 centimeter and 27 centimeter. If the distance between the shorter sides is 12, then the distance between the longer sides is what? We'll start by drawing a schematic diagram. This is the schematic that we can draw. The lengths are given as 36 centimeter and 27 centimeter. The distance between the shorter sides is 12 centimeter. Now the shorter side is 27 and if this dotted line represents that distance then we can write the distance as 27 here 12 sorry as 12 centimeter. The distance between the shorter sides is given as 12. We have to find out the distance between the longer sides that is the height x we can call it. This has to be found out. A very simple question. So we will find out the area of the parallelogram in two ways. Area of parallelogram is equal to base into height 36 into x and it should be equal to we will say also equal to seen from the other perspective 27 is the base and 12 is the height which is equal to 27 multiplied by 12 which implies 36 into x should be equal to 27 multiplied by 12 which implies 
x should be equal to 27 multiplied by 12 by 36. Let us perform cancellations 4, 3, 4, 9, 9, 3. So x is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 equal to 9 centimeter which is the answer. Let us move to our next question now.